I mean, don't lump her in with all the healthcare staff who are doing way more. Yeah, like, She's yeah. just a service, a person in service. Mm-hmm. So when you're in the mm-hmm. service sector, you must act with some decorum. Mm-hmm. You cannot behave like they're going to kick people's property and stuff. It's just not right. <laughs> Alright guys, so the question for today is Would you ever fight in front of a child in public if things got heated up? Physical fight or quarrel fight? Okay, uh, both the question to both I think it's possible la. Mm. I think it's possible Physical? Probably not It's a losing fight and I don't put myself in losing fights If the fight is targeted towards a child? Oh, you mean wow. somebody is hitting the child? Yeah, it's like target, like going towards the child That's different Just no? go Self-defense is different mm-hmm. yeah, And that, in I... this case, if you're defending the kid, it's Sense Master. of defense also. Mm-hmm. Good. How about you? I think physical fight is a no no la. But if let's say uh, arguments, right, I think it's inevitable. Like, I mean, like, you know, couples or like whoever sure mm. will have sm- some small arguments, right? Mm. So I think it's really can't run away la. It's just how you handle or like uh, talk to your kids after certain things. If let's say it goes really like quite serious la. Mm-hmm. Mm. Would your control or like, hold back a bit or just wait? First move is to control. Mm. Okay. So you just do assess it. again. Okay. okay. Okay, but like, let's say you are, you are talking about uh, between like couples, like husband and wife, or is it That's against like public people? Let's say public people. Oh. Uh, I remember we got one incident uh, last time when I was in the theatre and I was young uh, so you know I like to I like to relax. I like to put my my leg up on the chair. Like, Basket, this one must go. Yeah, yeah. So I sort of like kick the person in front uh, Then the it's like these two couple and then. The guy is like gangster eh. He turned to my dad, he asked me, Hey, you all like to kick chair, I come outside. Ah. What and, the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For such a small thing. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I thought that's definitely, but then he escalated into like that. Ah. Yeah. So my, I think my dad like just tried to appease the situation, say that, hey, please, I got my kids with me. Say, what, what, what you have to do like that? Say, I just, just tell me nicely, lah. I'll ask him to stop kicking or whatnot. Yeah. So, I think if my kids are with me, right, the first thing is try to avoid the conflict. If if it's a uh, if it's a stranger la. Mm, okay, yeah. so I ask you a uh, exact same scenario. You kick somebody's chair, right? And the guy stood up. He's like one point five meters, scrawny kid. He said, "Hey, you not happy? Uh? come see me outside." <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I catch you outside la. <laughs> No, 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 you don't say la. Okay, boy, uh, this type ah, uh, mass kick, mass bully. <laughs> hey, boy, ah, uh, show you. <laughs> boy, stand up, I pass in the booster seat. <laughs> So much, oh, no, I'll be a peacemaker, no. <laughs> because this, this is the idea I'm trying to get at. You don't want to get into a losing situation. Yeah. Uh, but if the situation is so far in your advantage, then screw you, man. Yeah, that's right. And, and right, I don't have a lot of advantage. <laughs> but if that guy, ah, uh, voila. Maybe 1.5, you got like, what, 0.2 CM? Son, you're going to see me win today. <laughs> it's a video went viral recently, and it's regarding a clinic in Boogie Bato. Where there was a heated exchange regarding a staff kicking a stroller. Okay, oh. let me show you guys what happened. Oh, this is the stuff. Yeah. Did you say that? Yes. So He's the, trying to de-escalate de- the situation. De- yeah. yeah. So the throughout the entire video, the boy is trying to like what you say, de-escalate the situation, telling the staff to <laughs> and the mom to stop talking. And the moment the mom said that I'm calling the police, the mom uh, the, the, the boy tried to stop the mom. Say that let's not do that, okay? Uh let's just go. And then he said he will clean up, right? Yes. Wow. So what exactly does he want to clean up? Okay, so before this, so this was the first video that went viral. Later on, the clinic then posted the clinic's CCTV point of view, okay. mm-hmm. showing more of what actually happened lah in the in the clinic. So this video has no audio, but just see, okay? He put inside the van or what? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that the woman just threw like a pile of, of documents, hit down some calendar. So things was already heated up la, mm-hmm. in the clinic itself. Yeah, the lady come back again. Yeah, so basically this was what happened. La. 
Hmm. I mean, so, two Karens, or you put two Karens together, this is what happens. But uh, when when the lady is picking up the things, right, the customer came back again. Uh, later on, I had to, <coughs> to like, pettily through one more document <laughs> before leaving the clinic. <laughs> Nobody really know what was the exchange about in the clinic. But after after this whole thing inspired, right, the stuff came out and the video. Uh, yeah. So after the video went viral, the clinic got a ton of one-star review. And then the clinic then posted a Facebook post uh, stating that, okay, we are sorry that this happened. We are sorry for causing stress to uh, the, the woman and the child. The staff has then been put on leave of absence ever since. Yeah. So what do you guys think? I think the staff was wrong. Uh. The customer was being a bitch, mm-hmm. but the staff was definitely wrong to act that way. Wait, 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 sorry. Uh. Why is there a stroller there? Is there a kid inside? Right? <laughs> no, it's no, for no. the boy, right? The boy is how old? Old. Like, so for the boy. No, this kind uh, Usually, right At this age Some kids they still see in stroller huh? so, Okay, yes. no, the thing is I don't like know 6, 7 years old no? Yeah it, is Oh, it? Wow, you'll be surprised eh? I've seen like Big kids are sitting seen in, in stroller. the stroller Yeah, wow. <gasps> yeah that, that's I, I'm, not, <laughs> fuck <off. laughs> I'm not sure if this is the, Her stroller, but Kids, certain age, they still see on stroller. No, but you so cannot guess, be on a stroller when you're that big. Yeah, la, and something is wrong. When la. you're that young, right, you don't have this kind of protective instinct. Like, you, don't, you don't understand how to... You don't comprehend the situation. Mm. Yeah, but the kid uh, know exactly what's happening. Yeah, so I think I mean, he handled very well. He handled mm. very well. Yeah. yeah. He has more sense than the, the two mother. women. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like, at least he is making everything like proper, you know. Like, we'll, we'll do our part by cleaning up and everything. Mm. Yeah. Plus, you know he wrong. <laughs> you don't want to continue already. Mm, you just want to go and clean up. Mm. Settle. Mm. Like, I'm out of this. Let's just calm down. I'm sure we can settle this peacefully. Okay, so do you guys think that the staff's way of handling things right, was justified? Or was it just pure overboard? 100% not justified. I don't care what that lady did to you. Even if she had hit you, which she didn't, you shouldn't do this. If let's say what she did is wrong, take it up with the authorities. Mm-hmm. You don't act this way. Mm-hmm. I feel that right. If you this like you do something physical, uh, straight away you're wrong one in in like the eyes of the public or what? Not. Yeah. But can I bring out one thing that I want to ask la? There's a tons of one star review, but is the one star review justified not? Just because of this situation that happened. I guess they are unhappy with how your yeah, clinic is managing yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, things. The lady, even though she is not the boss of the clinic, but she represents the clinic, right? I believe that right, like, reviews should be given, right, if you experience it yourself. Yeah, you experience it yourself. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. Because this is vicarious experience, right? If, let's say, you witness somebody doing something like this, you have a bad impression of the business. So, I don't like your business. I think what you all are doing is wrong. I can give a review about that. Mm. Even though you are not on the ground witnessing, but I witness your staff doing this through a video. I disapprove of that. I think this is not an establishment I will go to because of this. Mm-hmm. But like, you don't have to leave a review, ma. you can only sell like boycott that, that establishment. You could, but you but see what the... if people have never heard about this? Mm. You don't want people to go to this establishment. And that's the only way, mm. that's one of the more impactful way of like telling people to, hey, don't go to this clinic. I feel like this is uh, an act of like, cancer culture. Eh? In a sense it is, la, mm. but you think about it, right? If let's say you, if let's say this is your wife, you saw this happening to your wife. Would you not want to let people know don't come to this cleaning clinic? What I believe is that it's right. Like if you have experienced it yourself, you leave the review okay. Because like you don't know that whether this is an isolated incident. So you mean the others shouldn't interfere? Yeah. Because this but might not be normal, the case ma- every day. How is it normal? I say like it's normal. It's like you see something, you experience something. I mean you, you witness something, you're just like, oh, okay, let's not go back to... This clinic, okay, so I ask you, uh, if let's say now they have like 50 reviews and mm-hmm. it's like 4.8 or whatever, if you experienced it and you want to give them a 1 star, this 4.8 is going to move to a 4.7 or 4.8 still because mm-hmm. of the, the gravity of how many good reviews they have. If you feel they've acted this way, they should be at least a 3 or below and the community is coming together to enact this. But I feel it. maybe too quick to judge because I mean it's wrong for the clinic lady to do the act, right? But maybe there are some things that during that exchange, right? Because if, if let's say she already retreat, right? And then the lady still came to like do something to, to her in a sense. Uh, so maybe there's more to it that is too quick to... Perhaps. But like I said earlier, mm. it doesn't matter what the customer did. The customer might be wrong, take the mm. customer up to the law. Mm. But you cannot act this way. Mm. There is no situation where what you did is right. I feel that the woman shouldn't act this way also. Uh. Yeah. And then as healthcare healthcare worker, the sad thing is, no matter how, how whatever the patient throw at you, right, 
you still have to stay professional. Mm. But in this case, she didn't lah. She just let loose and then she faced the public judgment. I mean, don't lump her in with all the healthcare staff who are doing way more lah. Yeah, la, She's yeah. just a service, a person in service. Mm. So when you're in the service sector, you must act with some decorum. Mm-hmm. You cannot behave like they're going to kick people's property and stuff. It's just not right. <laughs> I don't even know whether the stroller is hers or not. <laughs> okay, so last question. What are some things, right, you will never ever do in front of a child? Have sex in front of a child? Five. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when I'm writing this question, right, I really picture Joseph will confirm say sex. But other than that, like, you don't want to leave don't her. commit any vices. Mm. Mm. There's just a general saying general it takes la. a village to raise a kid. Mm-hmm. Why? Because whatever the kid witnesses, whether it's their parents or whoever in their environment, they will absorb it mm. and they might behave that way. Mm-hmm. So if you want a kid to behave well, then you should set an example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, it's, uh, I, w- I would not... Something like yours, like, I would not. I would never smoke or you know, drink or in front of my child. Drink can As in like... Shouldn't. When they are at the age, shouldn't. shouldn't yeah. Yeah. Maybe when they're like 18 or like, okay lah, can. But when they're so young, uh, they will have this... They will be conditioned to think that oh, if next time I ever ever pick up this habit, it, it, it is okay to pick up this habit because my parents are doing it. Man. So I wouldn't want that. I will not talk about, uh, bad about others in front of my kids. I will only talk good things about other people in front of my kids. And That's I will, a good thing. Uh, that I will purposely make that a habit. I will say, oh, mm-hmm. you know, Uncle Joseph... Uh, okay, next. Yeah, I did um, that. Yeah, so, <laughs> Uncle, 